Tens of thousands of people continue to protest in Myanmar after a military coup almost a week ago. The internet has now been restored after being cut for more than 24 hours, but no one knows for how long. The protesters are demanding the release of the country's detained elected leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Protesters are back on the streets of Yangon for a second day. Thousands marching against the military coup in Myanmar. They used the three-finger salute to signify their rebellion and carried banners demanding the release of elected leader Aung San Suu Kyi. They say they had no choice but to take to the streets in support of democracy and against what they see as injustice. This is really unfair. Despite the landslide win in the election, the military staged a coup unilaterally and with accusations. The military staged an unfair coup. They arrested the leaders elected by the people. Our students, under the red fighting peacock flag, have led revolutions in the past. So we join today the protest as well. The red flag is that of Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy, or the NLD. Army Chief Min Aung Laing seized power on Monday, alleging fraud in the election held on the 8th of November. That vote resulted in a landslide victory for the NLD. The country's electoral commission dismisses the army's accusations. Footage of Sunday's protests surged on social media despite the country battling internet blackouts. The images show demonstrators out in large numbers, some even facing off against secret police and military there to observe them. Many protesters say they are determined to show they will not be intimidated. Citizens have already made their demands by voting. We are on the streets now to show that we are against a military dictatorship without fear. So far, protests across the country have been largely peaceful. However, gunshots were heard in the southeastern town of Miawadi, where uniformed police with guns charged a group of protesters. There were no immediate reports of casualties. Concerns are high that the unprecedented level of civil disobedience in Myanmar could cause a stronger military response.